Looking for the best motherboard for Ryzen 9 7950X? Today we'll be looking at the top 5 motherboards for the Ryzen 9 7950X. We've got budget options, high-end beasts, small form factor options, and our top pick waiting for you. Check out bestmotherboardzone.com for more details, and don't forget, all the prices are in the description below. So get ready to build your new PC. Number 5. Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Gene. Best micro ATX motherboard for Ryzen 9 7950X. When building a high-performance small form factor PC, we tend to look for ITX options and overlook the micro ATX options. When I was looking for the best micro ATX boards for AM5 that can power the 7950X, I was left empty-handed. There aren't many capable X670E or X670 motherboards in micro ATX form factor. Thankfully, Asus came to the rescue and saved the day with their Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Gene motherboard. This motherboard is a force to be reckoned with. Packing a 16 plus 2 plus 1 110 amp VRM, it is more than ready to house the 7950X without compromises. The X670E Gene will have no issues powering any AM5 CPU, including the 7950X, even in the long future. For a micro ATX board, it packs a lot of features like bigger ATX and EATX boards while being much smaller in size. The I.O. is rich with 8 USB 3.2 ports and 2 USB 4.0 ports that support Thunderbolt 4, and it even has a BIOS flash and CMOS clear button on the top of the rear I.O. so you don't need to open your case if needed. Perhaps one of the most underrated features of this board is its excellent audio interface, a feature many boards tend to skimp on because manufacturers expect buyers to use external USB DACs or PCIe sound cards. But due to limited space, there may not be enough PCIe slots for that, so Asus decided to jam-pack this board with great onboard audio so that you have one less thing to worry about. There aren't any other micro ATX motherboards with the X670E chipset and when I was looking for a decent B650-B650E board that can power the 7950X, I couldn't find one that didn't compromise on something. The only option I considered was the Gigabyte B650M Aorus Elite AX. It is a significantly more affordable board with a great set of features, but it has a much weaker VRM that will not be able to provide enough power to the 7950X to run at past stock settings, while the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Gene has no issues overclocking the 7950X way past 5.5 GHz. This leads us to my gripe with the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Gene, which is its price. It is one of the pricier small factor boards for the 7950X, and you can pick a similarly capable ATX or EATX board for less. On top of that, it only has two DIMM slots that support a maximum of 64GB of RAM, unlike any other board that can support up to 128GB. I understand that for the vast majority of people, they would not be able to utilize even 64GB of RAM, but at such a high price, a non-compromising motherboard should have room for more. Or RAM. All things considered, there's no board like this at all. The Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Gene makes up for its expensive price tag by leaving nothing else to be desired, like plenty of M2 slots, PCIe Gen 5 support, error code LED, a no compromises powerful VRM design, and one of the best I.O. options. All the benefits of the bigger boards with the benefit of being closer in size to ITX. Truly the best of both worlds. Number 4. Asus ROG Strix X670EI Gaming. Best mini ITX motherboard for Ryzen 9 79 50X. Asus ROG Strix X670EI Gaming Wi-Fi is a motherboard that demonstrates impressive features in a compact mini ITX form factor, making it my top mini ITX choice for the Ryzen 9 7950X. The first thing to note is how Asus optimizes the available space, raising the VRM and M2 heatsinks. This smart design not only manages the thermal loads well, but also ensures that this compact board can host all the critical components without compromise. Around the CPU socket, you'll find ample space to install your desired CPU cooler, whether that's a hefty air cooler or an AIO liquid variant. The two memory DIMM slots are available here for DDR5 memory, and they support up to 6600 MHz, ensuring your Ryzen 9 7950X will have access to high-speed memory. The motherboard features two M2 slots, following the design trend of its predecessor, the X570EI. One of these slots is capable of operating at the high-speed PCIe Gen 5.0, enabling faster data transfers. Along with this, the VRM design has been improved to a 10 plus 2 configuration, a step up from the 8 plus 2 setup seen in older boards. The X670EI Gaming Wi-Fi offers a PCIe Gen 5x16 slot. While it's the only PCIe slot available on this board, given the Mini ITX form factor, it's a fair trade-off. Asus makes up for the limited connectivity options inherent in a Mini ITX motherboard by providing the ROG FP2 card, offering extra SATA ports and headers. What really sets this motherboard apart is the addition of the ROG Strix Hive. This magnetic extension brings in more features, including a volume dial, debug LEDs, a USB 3.2 Gen 
Zoom 2 port and a BIOS flashback button. Importantly, the Hive is equipped with two USB 4.0 ports, providing impressive 40 gigabyte per second data transfer speeds. Price-wise, it's on the higher end, but considering the features and the quality you're getting, it's a justifiable cost. Also, while the two DIMM slots might be limiting for some, they should be more than enough for most users who typically run with dual-channel memory. In conclusion, the Asus ROG Strix X670 EI Gaming Wi-Fi strikes a great balance between offering high-end features, a reliable VRM setup, and a practical design in a compact form factor. For users looking for an X670 board that provides these qualities and a small form factor, this motherboard is the best pick for the Ryzen 9 7950X. Number 3. AS Rock X670E Studio Legend The best budget motherboard for Ryzen 9 7950X I'd say that AS Rock is pretty bold to call this motherboard a legend, but I don't think they're quite off on that. And that's why the AS Rock X670E Steel Legend is my pick for the best budget motherboard for the 7950X. What makes this one of the best budget motherboards available in the market is that this board is complete with all the necessities. It has an excellent VRM design, 16 plus 2 plus 1 phase at 60 amps, so running even the 7950X at high clocks won't be an issue. A rather rare feature of the Steel Legend is its two Ethernet ports, one being 1 gigabyte and the other 2 gigabyte. This board also comes with an insane number of USB ports. I counted a total of 12 in the back, with support for five more in the front. Perhaps my favorite feature of this motherboard is the inclusion of a graphics card holder. This included holder is perfect for giant GPUs like the RX 7900 XDX or the RTX 4090, so that they don't sag. I wish more vendors included this nowadays. This is truly the best value seekers board. Reliable power delivery, sturdy board design, overloaded with features, and an excellent price to match. What more can one want? Looking at some of the drawbacks of this board, it has a clunky BIOS, which is usual for AS Rock boards, and I do not find the design attractive. It also lacks a substantial audio interface, even though the board is kitted with a premium Steel Series Niamic audio driver. And while the main PCIe x16 slot is Gen 5, the other slot is Gen 3, not even Gen 4, which seems quite unbalanced. This is even stranger because this board has three Gen 4 M2 slots along with a Gen 5 M2 slot. It would have been better if both slots were Gen 4 instead, but then this would be an X670 board and not an X670 E board, or at least run the Gen 5 slots at eight times when both are in use. For around the price of the AS Rock X670 E Steel Legend, the other boards I considered that offer a similar experience are the Gigabyte X670 Gaming XAX and the MSI Pro X670P Wi-Fi. I also saw a handful of boards from Asus and AS Rock themselves. In the end, I went with the AS Rock X670 E Steel Legend over the other affordable X670 boards. All of these boards can comfortably supply power to the 7950X to run at higher clocks, but it came down to features. Unlike the Steel Legend, most boards in this price range don't offer Gen 5 support on the Time 16 slot. All in all, I needed a board that would yield the most value. Being a budget board does not mean that it just needs to be cheap and cut corners. At the end, I really wanted to recommend the Gigabyte X670 Gaming XAX as the budget option for the 7950X. However, right now, the price of the Steel Legend is just $30 more than the Gaming X, and it overshadows the Gaming X in terms of features. Number 2. Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme Best High-End Motherboard for Ryzen 9 7950X Now, I know that Asus is under fire and many people want to boycott the brand. Probably rightfully so. However, if you're looking for something that screams performance to the max and money is no issue, the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme is your dream come true. Let me tell you why this beast is the perfect mate for your Ryzen 9 7950X processor. This board has got more juice than a power station, thanks to a hefty 20 plus 2 phase VRM rated for 110 amperes. So if you're an overclocking daredevil who lives for the thrill of pushing boundaries, you're in for a treat. This motherboard isn't just high tech, it's next level. With ROG's overclocking tech like AI, an asynchronous clock, dynamic switchers, and their Voltition software built right into the BIOS, this motherboard's cooling game is stronger than a polar vortex, all thanks to a multi-piece heatsink on the VRM that could easily be a contender for the best in the market. And let's not forget the sizable heatsinks blanketing each M2 drive, so your PC stays frosty and whispers quiet. When it comes to looks, this motherboard is no less than a masterpiece. Just feast your eyes on those LED decorated heatsinks, covering the crucial parts of the board while the AM5 socket, DDR5 slots, and two PCIe 5.0 times 16 slots stand proudly exposed. We're living in the future, folks, and this board knows it. With four DIMM slots supporting up to a whopping 128 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and a total of 22 USB ports, it's a connectivity paradise. And with support for five M2 drives, SATA SSDs, and mechanical hard drive storage won't be a problem. This beauty even sports two Thunderbolt ports and four USB-C ports for display, and a 10 gigabyte and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port for your network needs. It's all topped off with Supreme FX 7.1 surround sound audio, 
audio for an auditory experience that's just as rich as the visual aesthetics. In the sea of motherboards, the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme stands like a lighthouse, with its high-end features and solid overclocking abilities, but it's not for everyone, especially if you're watching your budget. So in a nutshell, if you're a high-end user ready to pay for the best of the best for your Ryzen 9 7950X, the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme should be at the top of your list. Number 1. AS ROG X670E Tai Chi Carrera, our top choice. AS ROG has consistently improved its motherboards, and with the latest release, they have truly knocked it out of the park. For those looking to build a high-end system, we understand that there's simply no room for compromise, and the AS ROG X670E Tai Chi Carrera delivers. The standout feature of the X670E Tai Chi is its ridiculously overpowered VRM, especially given its price point. A 24 plus 2 plus 1 phase 105 amp VRM configuration is undoubtedly going to be plenty for anything you throw at this board, since AMD's new CPUs, such as the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X, have a TDP rated at 170 watts, a board of this caliber is designed to effortlessly support such a demanding CPU. Only the MSI Meg X670E Godlike offers a VRM of such caliber, and that board is more than 2.5 times more expensive than this. When it comes to memory, the motherboard handles it exceptionally well, officially supporting speeds up to 6600 mega transfers per second. The AS ROG Tai Chi Carrera doesn't just excel in power delivery, it also boasts an impressive set of features. Equipped with Wi-Fi 6E and killer 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, the board ensures fast and reliable wireless and wired connectivity. It has two full-size PCIe Gen 5 x 16 slots, a Gen 5 x 4M2 slot, and three Gen 4 x 4M2 slots. I was delighted to see that there are two USB 4.0 ports that support Thunderbolt 4. One minor drawback of the AS ROG Tai Chi Carrera is that the USB 4 and Thunderbolt 4 support are managed by the CPU I.O. rather than the chipset. This can only become a problem if the CPU's I.O. is being heavily overutilized. AS ROG continues to impress with the design. The Carrera's clever ceramic white finish allows it to blend seamlessly into both black and white PC cases. For a similar price, the Gigabyte X670E Aorus Master or the Asus ROG Strix X670E e Gaming stand out as excellent options. However, compared to the Tai Chi, they either don't have as good of a VRM or they lack features that the Tai Chi offers like USB 4.0. At the end of the day, the AS ROG X670E Tai Chi Carrera stands out as an exceptional offering from AS ROG. The robust 24 plus 2 plus 1 phase 105 amp VRM configuration ensures efficient power delivery and future compatibility with upcoming AMD CPUs. Its feature-rich design, including Thunderbolt 4 support and Wi-Fi 6E, caters to the needs of power users and enthusiasts. While the minor drawback of CPU-managed USB 4 Thunderbolt ports may be noted, it does not significantly detract from the overall performance and value that the Tai Chi Carrera offers. With its elegant design and strong performance, the AS ROG Tai Chi Carrera AM5 motherboard is a worthy contender for those seeking a premium AM5 motherboard for their high-end PC builds. Alright guys, we've just gone through the top 5 motherboards for the Ryzen 9 7950X. Want more? Head to bestmotherboardzone.com. Links below. Smash that like button, share, and subscribe for more epic reviews and tutorials. But don't go yet. There's another video popping up right now that you can't miss. Thanks for watching and keep building.